How are you today? Most of us would respond by sharing an analysis of our external world, like I'm cold, I'm hungry, or I'm tired, rather than what is going on in our internal world, like I'm angry, I'm fulfilled, I'm content, I'm bitter, I'm joyful, or I'm sad. When we are especially sad, we refrain from expressing it and that's how our emotions get bottled up and we end up feeling trapped and helpless. Egyptian writer Nakheb Mahfouz said, Nothing records the events of a sad life as graphically as our human body. A lot of times, in order to cope with our sadness and helplessness in our misery, we resort to mechanisms such as emotional eating, random online shopping, binge-watching TV shows, and social media. None of these are addictive in nature by themselves. But for some, it can be a trap. And if we are wise enough, we will see the trap, and the sooner we see the trap, the better. Always remember, we are precious and hold great value. Let us learn to prioritize the health of our mind, body, and spirit. God really does care about every part of our lives. For He says, Your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have received from God. You are not your own. So, meditate, eat right, work out, and watch what you do by avoiding things that may be harmful.